timeless ancient city of Baghdad. Here in 1936, Wilhelm Koenig, an Austrian scientist, made a discovery which would explode long-held assumptions about ancient technology. When the archaeologist discovered this object, he looked at it and it looked to him like a battery. In fact, it's very difficult to see what else it could be. It is a, a small pottery jar with a copper tube hung down the middle and an iron rod suspended in the middle of the copper tube. The artifact was discovered in a site that is pretty clearly to be dated to the first century AD. Was it possible an ancient inventor had constructed an electrical battery? Now there has been some controversy about what could they have been using a battery for in the first century AD. And furthermore, there's been some controversy about how on earth could they have discovered the darn thing. My own view of how people could have managed to discover the principle embodied in the Baghdad battery already in the first century AD is in fact very simple. It is that any two dissimilar metals, in this case copper and iron, when put in a liquid that is acidic, will generate a voltage between them. But what was the battery's purpose? Some scientists have speculated that current from the Baghdad battery might have been used to electroplate silver objects with a patina of gold. But some scholars disagree. The artifact was found in a house that is clearly a magician's house. There were bowls there with magical inscriptions in them. And we know that in Mesopotamia, in ancient Mesopotamia, the people who were in charge of medicine, the doctors, were the magicians. And therefore, my hypothesis is that this magician was, of course, a doctor, and he was using this battery as something medical. But what possible medical purpose might an electrical battery have served two millennia ago? Even in modern times, people use electrical current as a kind of painkiller device. Well, this could have been done in antiquity. To support his theory, Professor Kaiser found an intriguing clue in a bizarre practice of the ancient world. Along the Mediterranean and the Nile River, a rare breed of electrical fish called torpedo was raised for an unusual purpose. When a person suffered from physical pain, he would wade into waters stocked with the fish. Their mild electrical shocks would provide a tingling to help ease the pain. We have a, a first century AD Latin text um, by a man named Scribonius who actually describes how to cure pain in your legs by taking a living electric fish on the beach and standing on it. So the principle that this kind of tingling would have cured pain was well known, is valid, it's used in modern times, and I think it's not so hard to see why an ancient Mesopotamian doctor magician would have made use of this to uh, alleviate pain.